Hello anglers, this is Juan Brute from Juan Brute Fishing. I do videos about conventional fishing, fly fishing, backpack fishing, and kayak fishing. If you want to learn more about what I do, you want to see my videos, and you're into that stuff, definitely subscribe to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about my ultralight light fly fishing kit that I take with me when I backpack. My fly fishing backpack kit with fly rod reel in this chest pack right here with gear in it is just barely over a pound. Barely over a pound. So why do I do this? Well, number one, I want to be as light as possible when I'm backpacking. I'm not getting any younger. I like to keep my base weight of my gear down around 10 pounds or just over that. So my goal is like that 10 to 12 pounds. 10 is considered ultra light like 10 to 20 by most people is considered light. I like to try to push it towards that ultralight side of things. Uh, it took me a long time to kind of come up with a way to get my weight of my fly fishing gear down to an acceptable level. Um, the kind of centerpiece of that kit is really this chest pack that I'm wearing right now. This chest pack only weighs 3.7 ounces. It's made of X-Pack, it's handmade, by Devin over at Backcountry Exposure. Uh, he made this for me. Um, he's done an excellent job and he's got an Etsy store and I can definitely put the link to that below. It's a great chest pack, it stays in place. The nice thing about it is it's super lightweight, but it also has enough storage compartments, possibilities, that I'm able to store enough gear where I feel comfortable. When I'm backpacking to fly fish, which is why I backpack or to, to fish, I am trying to catch fish. That's my primary goal. I'm trying to go someplace interesting. Like I've been to the Sierra. Um, you know, I'm going to the Smokies next month. I'm, you know, I've been to the North Woods of Pennsylvania for blue lining for brook trout. I'm trying to get to those places, so I need to be super light. But I also want to be confident as an angler. When I get there, I'm going to have the gear that I need. And this pack helps me do that better than any pack that I looked at on the market, mainly because of the weight and the storage options. So the pack itself only weighs 3.7 ounces. The gear inside, which I'm going to show you in a minute, is only 10.7 ounces. My reel is 3.5 ounces and my rod is 4.4 ounces. If you count that up, it's just barely over one pound. It's 1.3 1 1 pound, 1 pounds okay so it's about like a pound and a quarter and I can probably cut it down so let's take a look at what's in my kit so let's start on the outside first first are forceps and I really feel like I need those when I fish because you got to unhook those fish that are unlucky enough to, to swallow the fly um, I could probably cut weight by cutting the size of my forceps down so that's something I'm considering on this side um, you notice he's got a lot of clip-ons here, so you can clip a lot of stuff to the bag. I try to, to minimize that. I've got a little, you know, retractor here with uh, clippers to cut lines so my dentist doesn't get mad at me. On the outside, there are two pockets here, and in each one of these, I've got tippet material. Uh, this one, I've got 5X tippet, which is a great all-around tippet for me uh, in all the fishing that I do. I just think it's a good middle-of-the-road tippet. It's not too light, not too heavy, and I feel really confident with this size tippet, so, I, so that's the tippet I choose to bring. Uh, in addition to that 5X tippet, I do bring smaller tippet, a 6X tippet, a fluorocarbon, and I use this for fishing nymphs under um, a uh, indicator, um, and I also use this for hanging a uh, nymph off of a dry fly, like a dry dropper. So that's what I bring this for. Inside the pack, I'll start with the little stuff first. I've got two packs of liters, basically four liters, uh, probably a little bit overkill, but it's seven and a half foot 5X again. So those are my liters, a good all purpose liter. Again, I'm talking about you know smaller waters in the mountains and in the back country. Uh, and then this is actually the uh, pack for my furled leader that I use when I'm dry fly fishing. Um, so I keep that in there so my furled leader doesn't get messed up somehow. Um, if you want to learn more about my furled leader setup for dry fly fishing, I do have a video on my channel about that. In the other pocket inside here, 
I've got some floats so that I can um, suspend nymphs. And so these are stick-on floats. Probably all I need um, would be some stick-on floats. I could probably cut that amount in half. But I also have a, a lightning strike indicator made of foam. I like these because you can just slip them on your line. You don't have to tie them in in any way. Or uh, I've got also a very small uh, airlock um, indicator here too for nymph hanging you know, nymphs off of it and suspending nymphs. So suspension nymphing. I've also got a little baggie with some different size split shot. Again, most of my trips are anywhere from four days to, to six days. And so I usually don't need a ton of shot. And a lot of my flies are weighted too. So, so I bring kind of minimal amounts of shot with me. I also bring to go along with my furled leader uh, some paste here to make it float. So that's kind of a necessity for my furled leader. Got here some high float, shake and float. Um, I live and die by this stuff. I love it. This is for after you're, you've been fishing your dry fly and it starts to get waterlogged. You bring it in, you, you dry it out on your sleeve. Like I like to press the fly against my sleeve. You put it in here while it's still tied on your line, shake it up, and it pulls the uh, uh, water out of the dry fly and also helps it to float again and kind of revives your dry fly. Along those same lines, you got to pre-treat your dry flies before you fish them. And so I use gel floatant. And so I pre-treat my dry flies before I start to uh, fish them. It's kind of like a silicone kind of thing that coats the dry fly and makes it less prone to soak in water. So I've got to have some of that with me. Now we're down to the fly boxes. So this is uh, my smallest fly box. This is less than an ounce, this fly box. And uh, basically it's for size like 18, 19, 20 and so flies. And so it's just a really convenient way. And I've got like 10, 15 flies in each one of these. Uh, so I've got more than enough overkill there. And then my other two primary fly boxes, and I probably really only need one, but again, I, I like to maximize my, my possibilities as long as I can keep the weight down around a pound or, or under. Um, these boxes are foam. They're 1.2 ounces a piece. Um, this box, the color here, this is my dry fly box. And this gray box is my nymph box. And that pretty much is it for the gear part of, of my fly kit. So again, that is, you know, 13 point, on a 14.4 ounces is the fly fishing gear itself. Now here is my reel. It's a three weight reel. It's a bat and kill two. I'm using floating line on it. Uh, again, backcountry fishing typically means small blue lines, smaller creeks, smaller rivers, maybe some lake fishing. And so a floating line is typically good enough. Uh, and then I have my furl leader on there too. Uh, and that's a three weight. And then my rod of choice for um, blue lining and, and backpacking in the backcountry and fishing and fly fishing is a seven and a half foot glass rod. I choose glass for a reason. It's heavier. This thing is 4.4 ounces. Um, I could probably cut that weight by two ounces by going to a carbon based rod. The problem with carbon rods is they're a little bit brittle. They're more prone to snapping when you don't treat them right. And so the glass rod is a little bit more forgiving. And so I choose that because I only bring one rod. And so if that rod breaks, I'm kind of out of luck. Um, so I choose the glass because I know that it's more durable. This is a seven and a half foot, uh, three weight, uh, it's an Orvis uh, super fine rod. Love this rod. Love it, love it, love it. So that is my light, ultra light fly fishing kit that comes in at basically 1.3 pounds, basically one and a quarter. And if I get the, the gumption to um, make it lighter, um, I'll make another video. If I can, I'm, I'd like to break one pound. If you'd like to see me break one pound, like one pound or under, let me know and I'll spend the time to go through my gear and cut it down so that my whole entire fishing, my fly fishing backpacking kit is under a pound. So, so go ahead and challenge me if you want to and I'll do that and then make a video. The other thing I want to point out too is if you want to know about my system, my fly system for fishing uh, in, you know, kind of like backcountry waters, I've used these, fly, these flies in these boxes from here to California and the Sierra. I'm going to use these boxes in 
in uh, the Smokies and I have complete confidence in being able to catch fish on the flies that I have in these boxes. Um, if you want to know more about the flies, let me know and I'll make a separate video about that. So if you have any questions about any of the gear I talked about, definitely post up below. Until next time, fish more, stress less.